Let us celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for from her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. In part to your servants we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that out of the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was a dawning of salvation, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The time when she who is to give birth has born. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be a ruler in Israel whose origin is from old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give him up until the time when she who is to give birth has born. And the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord. In the majestic name of the Lord, his God. And I shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth, he shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Amen. With delight, I rejoice in the Lord. With delight, I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me.
Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophets. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. They shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. Lord. Today we celebrate the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and with all things, it points to our Lord as it points to our Blessed Mother, where we only celebrate three birthdays liturgically through the year, where we have St. John the Baptist as the precursor, pointing to the Lord constantly, even while in the womb, allowing us to know that the Lord is present. And likewise, we have the Blessed Mother who had the dawning of the dawning, as we would say, in her Immaculate Conception. And then we have the dawning here, nine months later, in her birth. And again, pointing to the great moments of salvation of our Lord coming in the Incarnation to save us from sin and death. It's great to bring ourselves to that point of our Blessed Mother's birth. For St. Anne and St. Joachim, or Yachtom Joachim, or remember you pronounce our Blessed Mother's father's name, they did not know about the Immaculate Conception. They did not know that they were conceiving, and St. Anne did not know that she was conceiving our Blessed Mother without original sin. But she did know she was pregnant. She did know that our Blessed Mother Came. And through that great joy, as one as tradition tells us, who did not give birth in such a long time, but waiting for that promised child, as the world waited for the promised child of our Lord, to see that great joy for St. Anne and her husband, welcoming our Blessed Mother into the world. And we have that similar joy. But it's a similar joy to say, oh, it's about to happen, it's going to happen, that this is having all those places in, to me, all those pieces in place for the coming of our Lord, for our great resurrection. My dear sisters and brothers, let's take time today to reflect on that great joy, to reflect on our Blessed Mother coming into the world. Let's reflect on that great ability that through her mother, we might receive the mother of our Redeemer and our mother as well, that we might receive that great joy that they had and share in that great joy at the Nativity of our Blessed Virgin Mary. My dear sisters and brothers, we born into the company of the saints, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the witnesses of holy women may enlighten the church in ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. That the call of the Spirit may guide the uncertain, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. 
that the attention of parents and caregivers may shape children in the ways of God. We pray to the Lord. That the birth of children may summon a village to their care. We pray to the Lord. That the story of God's faithfulness may sustain the sick. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of Jean Holtzmeister, as well as for peace in our world, especially Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. That the family of ancestors may welcome all who have died. We pray to the Lord. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be a better of the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, please help us through the intercession of our blessed Mother to give us physically, emotionally, mentally, and most of all, Lord, spiritually. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, God of our parents. For from the family of Israel, you call for the daughter full of grace. May the example of Mary guide us as we listen to your call, as we listen for your call, that like her, we may join your saving work in her son, Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, but become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual gift. and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, that he who had his birth from the Virgin Mary did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds. Make our oblation acceptable to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is our right. Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of on the nativity of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light, 
Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim. Worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised, join with theirs, in humble praise as we have prayed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marriage be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed Lord and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the virgin will bear a son who will save his people from their sin. Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have received, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries, and she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down.
They, God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have found worthy, who have been found worthy, to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray a prayer for our mother mothers. Mother of all mothers, holy queen. Chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, in your maternity have so sanctified the state of holy mother. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust to you. I know that you can, by your powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of all, Mother of all, pray for us.